We're running out of film. Okay. Welcome to Castle Rose Studios. My name is Brantley Hightower, I'm a producer, and today I'm going to be teaching you some of the most commonly used shortcut keys in Pro Tools. Hope you enjoy. First thing you need to know is that there are about a thousand ways to do these shortcut keys. These are just the ones that I will typically use in my sessions. Today we're working with a song called by Is This session in particular is just a work tape that we recorded so that we could build everything else on the song from this. It's just some vocals, uh, a little bit of, of harmony, and a guitar track. So before you start editing, you wanna make sure that this AZ button right here is yellow. That is enabling your hotkeys. So there's not a whole lot of processing that's been done to this record yet, but I'm gonna first show you some ways to comp and cut and edit your clips. First things first, let's say you wanna separate a clip right where your playhead is. There's a few different ways to do that. One of the most common is by clicking Command E. That will make a separation between these two clips. You can also click B. One less button you have to click, faster editing. Let's say you wanna remove a section from your clip. You can come in and you can make a selection here by dragging and then click Command X and that will delete your selected area. Um, same thing for the whole clip. You can click Command X and that will delete it. Let's say that you want to take off this front end of the clip that you know is just noise. You can highlight the selection and click Command X. Or if you know you wanna get rid of the entire front end of the clip, what you can do is you can come and put your cursor right next to the transient where you're wanting to cut at and click A. That will take out everything before the clip on the track that you've selected. Uh, you can also do the opposite. If you come to the end of the clip, you can click S and that will take out everything on the end of it. But just remember that some of these hotkeys, like using B to make a separation and using S and A to take off the ends of your clips are only gonna work if this button is enabled. So another way to quickly trim your clips is by selecting the area that you know you wanna keep. And if you know that the front end of it and the back end of it are not connected to anything you need and you know you're gonna get rid of them because it's just noise, you can come in and click Command T and that will just remove everything from the back end and the front end of your clip. So let's say that you have made all of these editing cuts or let's say you've punched in a bunch of times at different places and you want to consolidate all of the clips that you've just recorded. Super easy. All you've gotta do is select all of the clips that you want to be in here and click Shift Option 3. Consolidates everything together. Oh. And just so you know, when you do this and you put fades in between things, it is going to consolidate those fades. All right, last tip. So for this, we only had this one guitar track right here. But let's say you had multiple guitar tracks and let's say that you're wanting to do all of these editing tools to all three of these clips. First things first, you have to group them. All you have to do is come up and select the tracks that you want to group together. And then you can click Command G and you can assign and name a group. We'll call this guitars. And for this scenario, we just want to make sure that our editing marks and our editing commands apply to what we're doing to these three things. We're, we're separating it. We could choose mix or mix and edit, and those will affect all clips when you're mixing, but for now, we just wanna to stick to editing. So we're going to make sure that we have guitar one, two, and three. They are currently in the group, and we click okay. Now, whatever I do to this first clip, let's say I put in a fade, it'll affect all three of them. You wanna be fast and you wanna know these key commands so that they can make you a faster editor and a better mixing engineer. I hope these shortcuts help improve your workflow. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, these are really, really basic techniques, but if you wanna go and learn some more complicated, more in-depth techniques, go check out our channel. Give it a like and subscribe, follow us love us, appreciate us for what we do for you at home. Thanks for watching. Do you remember how we had the problem with the, because our nose is creating a shadow on the side of our face, but. It's oh, good. It's oh. called Rembrandt lighting. I hate it. It's like how mo cinematic movies do it. This isn't f***ing X-Men. Yeah, but we.